hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is jackie i hope you're all doing well if you're new on this channel please subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell so in today's video i'm gonna show you how i bleach my knots and i'll be using the 5x5 hd blaze closure i'll be using the 18 inch and this hair is straight So the hair I'm going to be using is very soft, um, this is the natural hair color of the hair, um, the quality is very good and this hair do not shed at all. Um, as you can see the knots of this hair is really dark and I will always want to have my wig look as natural as possible. So I'm going to bleach the knots to get that beautiful natural look that I'm looking for. So I'm going to prep my working space and I'm going to use the aluminum folio to cover the space that I'm going to work on. Um, this will help me to get um, all the bleach on the folio and not on the table. So I'll be using a plastic bowl for mixing my bleach and a wooden knife for mixing and applying my bleach onto my closure. You can also use a plastic knife but do not use a metallic knife because that can destroy the process of the bleach. So now what I want to do is to get the baby hair out of the way because I do not want to bleach my baby hair. Um, if, you're bleaching your, if you're bleaching your lace closure, you want to make sure that the front part is always in a good shape because if you destroy or because if you destroy the edges or the baby hair your hair is gonna come out looking very ugly so what i'm gonna do is to spray some got to be spray on it and then um, comb the baby hair backwards so um so i would be sure that i'm not bleaching the baby hair So I repeat, make sure that you get the baby hair out of the way. If not, you're going to bleach it and your hair is going to look ugly. So as you can see, all the baby hair is combed backwards and now I can bleach my closure in peace. So now I'm going to flip the lace closure over. To the part which I want to bleach and then put it on the side and then uh, mix my bleach to apply. So I'm gonna take my plastic bowl and my wooden knife so I'm gonna start mixing my bleaching powder with the 20 volume developer um, I'm gonna put on one glove on the hand which I'll be using to hold the closure because this stuff can really bend when it comes in contact with your skin. So I'm gonna take some amount of bleaching powder. I'm gonna put all the information in the description box. Um, I think I took about one, one scoop or one and a half scoop. Um, I didn't have a scoop so I can't really tell you exactly but I think you would need about one or one and a half scoop.
so gradually i'm gonna add the developer to the bleaching powder i'm gonna mix these two until i get the right consistency and when i when i talk about consistency you do not want it too thick and not too runny as well if it if you make it too thick it's not gonna bleach the hair i mean the knots and if you make it uh, runny it's gonna go through the closure and not only bleach the roof but it's gonna also bleach the hair so you wanna mix it until you get a form of paste that is not too thick and then apply it on the closure so uh, what i'm doing is just apply it on the lace apply on all the parts of it and uh, make sure that you do not get it onto the hair but if you do get it on the hair you can clean it up with a paper towel if you leave it there your hair is gonna bleach so make sure that you clean it so now what i'm doing is to check if i have covered all the um, edges because that's very important you want to make sure that your edges are well bleached and also check if your paste is not running through the um, the lace So now I'm just going to cover it with the folio and then leave it for um, 30 minutes and every 15 minutes I'm gonna check to see how it's going because I do not want to over bleach. After 30 minutes, it wasn't ready yet, so I left it on for another 10 minutes and in between, I was getting ready to take the hair to the kitchen and wash the bleach off.
So I'll be using the purple shampoo and the purple conditioner to wash and conditioner the hair. This is gonna get rid of the yellowish color and give it a beautiful color that will blend with your natural skin. So I'm gonna wash the hair with some warm water and you wanna make sure that you wash the bleach off because if you leave any bleach in the hair, the hair is gonna continue bleaching. So you wanna get rid of all the bleach in the hair. So guys, I forgot to mention um, the names of the products that I was using. I'm gonna put them all in the description box. If you wanna know what kind of bleach, um, shampoo, or uh, whatever, whatever I use, all the products are gonna be listed in the description box. So as you can see, the result is great. Um, my edges were looking so beautiful and the roof of my hair is bleached just as I want it. So guys, I'm going to use this closure to make a beautiful wig and I'm going to film that as well. So watch out for my next video on how I made my beautiful 5x5 inch closure. And see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell as well. I hope to see you in my next video.